morning everybody i hope you're keeping nice and warm today it's a bit rainy outside right yes well we are back with another lesson and today before we start the lesson i need to tell you my name my name is kenya no boys and girls my name is miss kami and my friend is here with me and her name is agnes no what's your name my name is her name is Kenya. Now, boys and girls at home, I hope you're ready for today's lesson. We're going to have lots of fun and we're going to have an activity as usual. But before we start, we need to warm up. We need to warm up. And we warm up with our good morning song. Our good morning song. Everybody, are you ready? Yes. You're ready? Yes. All right, are you ready? Good morning. voice went away. Could you hear her singing? <coughs> no. Your voice was there? All right. Now, as usual, before we start our lesson, we need to remember the colors <coughs> we have learned so far, right? All right. And Kenya is going to tell us all the beautiful colors we've learned. Go for it. Red, mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. green, mm -hmm. and blue. And there's one more other color. And orange. Very good. We've learned five colors. We've learned red like an apple, right? Green like grass. Like grass. Blue like the sky. Blue like the sky. Um, orange like an orange. Orange like an orange and yellow like the sun and yellow like the sun now today we're learning a different color and this color is a warm color that is a mixture of red and blue when you mix red and blue together it gives us this color are you ready to find out what color it is boys and girls at home are you ready this is our special color for today can you, can you tell the boys and girls what color this is color purple this is color purple color purple now Kenya, can you think of anything, anywhere that you've seen that is purple? Don't look at my papers. Think, think, use your brain. Let's think. Hmm. Boys and girls at home, are you thinking of anything that's purple? Kenya, why don't you tell us anything that you can think of that's purple? A cabbage. A purple cabbage, right. Now, the back of our card, as usual, always has something different that is a specific color, right? And today our card has something that is yummy. yummy. I love this thing a lot. Do you like it? Yes. All right. Are you ready to show the people? Why don't you show them what we have today? Ready, steady, go. A cupcake. A cupcake is so yummy and so tasty. What's your favorite flavor of a cupcake? Do you like vanilla, chocolate, lemon, orange? What's your favorite? Vanilla. Uh-huh. Vanilla. Yes, her favorite is vanilla and my favorite is strawberry. But today... I mean, mine is also strawberry. She's copying me, you guys. No, 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 no. Okay, then mine will be vanilla. Okay. <laughs> but today, our cupcake is grape flavored because it's purple like a grape, right? And the cupcake has some frosting on the top and it has some sprinkles. Mm. It's so yummy. And guess what? It's almost somebody's birthday. Nice. So maybe on your birthday, we can sing for you happy birthday and get you a cupcake, a strawberry cupcake. Is that a good idea? Yes. And we can invite the boys and girls to come sing for you happy birthday. Yes. Do you think that's a good idea? Mm-hmm. All right. But now we've talked about color purple. purple. And we want to show you the other different things that we have on our table that are purple. purple. And we're going to start with this insect. And this insect, before it becomes a 
butterfly. butterfly. It's a tiny little caterpillar. It's a tiny little caterpillar. So the first thing we have is a purple butterfly. Boys and girls at home, what is this? Butterfly. You're not at home. You're with me. You need to ask the boys and girls at home what this is. Boys and girls at home, this is a purple butterfly. butterfly. And let's all fly like a butterfly. Fly, fly, fly like a butterfly. And now let's wiggle like a caterpillar. So a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. Very good. And there's something else that is purple. And this thing is a vegetable, but not many people know about this vegetable. Kenya, do you know what this vegetable is? What's that? An eggplant. Did you know? Did you read? Nothing. I didn't read. She didn't read. This is a purple eggplant. And an eggplant is good. It's yummy. And we put it in our food and we cook it up with our stews. And when we eat it, mmm, delicious. A purple eggplant. eggplant. Very good. And we have something else that is color purple. And this thing is a... Cabbage. A purple cabbage. cabbage. Now, boys and girls at home, have you ever seen a purple cabbage? Do you think they've seen one? Mm -mm. You don't think they've seen one? Now, Kenya has a real purple cabbage that she wants to show you. Can you show the boys and girls a purple cabbage? Right. Look at this. Is a purple cabbage like this purple cabbage. And when you turn it around, turn it around, show them properly. It's white, like our cabbage here that's white and it has some purple some purple like this one that's a purple cabbage now i'm going to do something interesting kenya <laughs> we're going to take this cabbage and we're going to cut a little bit of the leaf just a little bit let's cut this in a leaf and boys and girls at home guess what i'm going to ask kenya to do yes. to taste yeah. the cabbage all right are you ready Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear that? It's crunchy. The cabbage is crunchy when it's raw. And in this house, we like making our purple cabbage into a salad and we put it with some apples, right? We put some apples and some purple cabbage and some mayonnaise and it becomes very yummy salad. All right, we have one last thing and this thing. Hmm. We were supposed to have, what's that? Grapes. Now, let me get, let me tell you guys a secret. We were meant to have some purple grapes with us today, but somebody <laughs> ate all of the purple grapes Not and me. finished them for our lesson. No, 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 no. It's you, me, and the rest of the family. <laughs> we all forgot that we had a lesson today and we ate our purple grapes. So today, before we make our purple grapes, we're going to do a painting activity. Before we do that, we want to teach them a song about purple, about grapes. purple grapes. All right? Are you ready, Kenya, for our song about purple grapes? <coughs> Boys and girls, ready? Yes. Purple grapes, purple grapes, yummy purple grapes. I like to eat some yummy purple grapes. Do you like eating some yummy purple grapes? You do? Boys and girls at home, do you like eating yummy purple grapes? They're saying they don't like eating grapes. Do you? We can't hear you. Aha! They like eating yummy purple grapes. Now it's time for our activity. Today we're doing a painting activity. And guess what, Kenya? We are not going to use a paintbrush. No. No. We're going to paint using our, our, what's that? Our fingers or our thumb, whichever works better. So I'm just going to put all our stuff here. Miss Kami already made some purple, purple grapes using my thumb. Yeah. And what I did was I have some purple paint right here on my plate. And I put my thumb into the purple paint and with the purple paint on my thumb I put it on the paper, paper to make my yummy bunch of grapes and Kenya is going to show us how to do that activity okay 
So Kenya, here is your paint. And you just dip your thumb. You can use your thumb or your finger. Which one do you prefer? Thumb. Okay. So Kenya is going to dip her thumb into the purple paint. Remember not to put it too close to you so that you don't get your clothes dirty. Actually, pull up your sleeves first. Pull them up, pull them up, pull them up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you dip your thumb. Okay, and we're going to, let's put it here so that you can see what you're doing. And you're going to put your thumb facing this way. And you're going to stump your thumb. <laughs> Are you too short? Okay, you do it facing that way. One. Yours are big grapes. Two. Two. Three. three. You need to put it into some more paint. I think from here you know how to do it by yourself, right? Four. Four. Uh -huh. And again. Five. You want to do five or six? Six. Okay, so she's going to put first six thumbprints for her first row of grapes. Put, dip it into the paint. Mm -hmm. Put another right there, six. Six. All right. And then on the second row, you're going to put four thumbprints, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Remember, you have to put it down a little bit so that it does look like a great good one. Two, good. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. I think you might have to put one more five. All right. And then on the next row, you're going to put three. Three. All right. And you start here. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Good. Very good. And then the next row you're going to put two. Two, two thumbprints. Mm. Yes, over here. One. Mm -hmm. And two. Very good. And the last one you're going to put? One. Well done. Look, guys, she made her bunch of grapes. It looks delicious. So you need to first wipe out your fingers with a wipe there you go thank you and then we're going to turn the paper upside down so that you can do your branch, branch with some crayons and what color is a branch or what color is a leaf a branch is brown or green if it's not ready if it's not ready or if it's it's brown when it's dry it's brown and it's dry mm -hmm. and the leaf is green. And the leaf is green. Good job. Alright, so you're going to take green. Do you want dark green or light green? Dark green. Okay. And you're going to draw. No, we turn it upside down so that you don't get your hands dirty. You're going to draw your branch downwards. Okay, and you're going to draw your leaf. One leaf. Uh -huh. How many leaves do you want to have? One or two? Two. Okay. Good. And I'd like you to please color your leaves. Well done. Now our grapes, they grow on a vine. And a vine is almost like a branch, but it's not as strong as a branch. So what I want you to do is to draw two squiggles, like a pig's tail. Mm -hmm. And another one. Very good. Do you want to draw one more squiggle? Very good. Can you make this one darker, please? Well done. Do you know how to write the word grapes? Let's see if you know how to write the word grapes. It has g, r, a, p, e, n, s. Okay, so I want you to try write the word grapes down here. I'm going to give you color black so that they can see. And you write g for goat, r for rabbit, a for apple. P for penguin, E for 
elephant and s for snake all right can you make this roof properly it needs to have a little head very good all right now we are done with our activity are you ready to show the boys and girls what you did oopsie my colors are falling all right ready Tada! we made our great you're covering your face and they want to see your face there we go move it this way there we go we made our two branches of yummy yummy grapes kenya's is a big bunch of grapes and mine is a smaller bunch of grapes, grapes. and what color are our grapes purple our grapes are color purple. purple so remember that grapes are purple and that was our lesson for today we were learning about color purple color purple boys and girls we are so excited that you've been doing our colors with us we have a few more colors to go just three more colors before we start another lesson about something else all right that's it for today boys and girls thank you so much for being with us make sure you try make your grapes. your grapes at home make sure you try and paint them with mommy or daddy's help all right it's time to say bye bye everybody